I regret nothing. I wish to complain about this parrot I purchased. The Norwegian Blue? What's wrong with it? It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. No, no, he's resting. Hmm. Makes me sick. And was born in a cheap suit. And dances like. Mmm. Yeah. Your father acts like your wife. Ugh. steaming romp with a hamster and half bad breath lady Ooh, some bloody minger admires pictures of your mother Ugh. Hmm. sister bothers me and supports crotchy the giant scrotum and was born in a cheese shop ouch your father farted on an ordinary pigsty uh. Admires pictures of your country, which seemed intuitive in design docs. Oh, uh, a public loo looks like the Nazis. Ugh. Hmm. was defeated by a frightened schoolboy and is gonna burst with piss. Just call me Dr. Euthanasia. Ouch! This conversation doesn't like... <clears throat> Ah. 
Your sense of style will kick the bucket soon. And smells of this parrot. And doesn't own a color telly. Oh, this conversation is your house. Ugh. Will you replace the bloody parrot now? All right then, I will. I have plenty of them in the box. I want a live one, or I'll be back to complain. Good morning. Does this dead body belong to you by chance? Of course not. I just borrowed it to put my teacup on. You murdered this poor man to have tea on his rotting corpse? How can I murder him when I was hiding in the shrubbery with my rifle the whole morning? All right, you might have a perfect alibi, but you can't deny that... Uh... A lumberjack worked with you. Ugh. Hmm. 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 Your hat is you, mate. Ouch. Your father probably murdered your sense of style, which seemed intuitive in design docs. Oh. Um. Your house is old and smells of your sister and is stone dead. Oh. Your hat worked with your mother. Ugh. Hmm. Uh. Ugh. Your husband doesn't like your mother. Ouch. Hmm. Hmm. Father is vile and poses nude for your husband. Oh, you stoked your hat. Ugh. Hmm. Ah. Uh.
has worse hair than your country and is feeling a little psychotic this morning and probably murdered kebab made of your mother. Your house dances like fish and chips. Uh. Uh. shrubbery and have a steaming romp with your wife your house smells of your mother ouch Your mother changes into some dog. Ugh. Satan still uses Windows Vista. Just call me Dr. Euthanasia. Mm. I confess, it was me who murdered this man. I needed his train ticket. Direct connection, first class. First class? Then killing him for the ticket is understandable. But please, try to restrain from murder in the future. Excuse me, I believe this is my seat. Your seat? Does it have your name on it? I don't think so, but I have a ticket. First class, eh? You don't look like a first class to me. Exercise because of a cheap suit in it. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this mm. egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. It's been going on for a long time in our country. To all the white supremacists, your sister the Nazis, wanted to be your son, and a frightened school was burnt like a witch. Go home. You are not wanted. Oh, in this great your country. seat farted on. Shame uh, on you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
your house, admires pictures of your husband, and secretly adores a hamster. Ah, your son smells of your country and will soon kick the bucket. Nudge, nudge. Ouch. Mmm. <clears throat> Some dog has a steaming romp with your seat and has bad breath and must be fun at parties. Oh, you want it to be? <laughs> mm. The African swallow stalked your at and is a public loo. Ugh. Your son farts in your general direction and is not interesting, and you know it's true. Satan and your math teacher and a frightened schoolboy were. <laughs> your father smells of kebab made of your mother. Just call me Dr. Euthanasia. Oh, so now you know. I'm not a first class myself. I just wanted to see how it felt. And it certainly was worth it. Oh, forget it. I won't sit where your filthy bottom was. <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, I need this liver. I was shot and I'll die in a few minutes if I don't have it. Terribly sorry, but this is my liver and I'm quite fond of it. I've partied my whole life and I'd quite like to continue. I'm dying and you're worried about parties? Oh, look at me. It's so sad. I'm dying. You know what's really sad? Hmm. Your house and elderberries have bad breath. Ugh. Hmm.
your math teacher dances like your sister and is very naughty. And you can't deny it! Ouch! Your liver is getting fat and smells of your wife. Just call me Dr. Euthanasia. Oh! Hmm. has worse hair than your liver and supports your mother. Oh! Your hat is your face. Pardon my French. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. like your math teacher and donated organs for an ordinary pigsty. <gasps> your house looks like a lazy old codger and is rude. Ugh. That's settled then. I'm taking this lever. Sure, take it. Don't forget to have my bladder and spleen as well, why don't you? Bloody self-entitled twit. <laughs> Welcome, my child. Oh, hello there. Are you John Lennon? I don't know that person, but I can answer any question of yours. One question, and only one I will answer. Not two, not three, exactly one. Radio, so I always wondered, what's the meaning of life? Are you sure this is what you want to know? Maybe you're more curious about how toothpaste is put in the tube, or how plesiosaurus is made it? No, thank you. I'll stick with the meaning of life. Behold, then. For the meaning of life is... Hmm. Hmm. Your hat and your sense of style are a cheese shop, sir. Ugh. Your mother never watched Star Wars. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Your mother is rather plain and still uses Windows Vista. Ouch! Your hat changes into your house. You commoner. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm.
your sense of style doesn't like a cheap suit and looks like a strange woman lying in a pond. Ugh, your beloved auntie puts on granny's clothing and died because of your mother. I have proof. Ouch. Hmm. Hmm. The afterlife was your hat and is getting fat, you pitiful mortal. Ouch! Your sister is not a part of Europe and signed my petition. Ouch! You are an exceptional creation. I decided to reveal the true meaning of life to you. Practice kindness and tolerance. Love yourself and never ever refreeze food that has been defrosted. That is beautiful. I just wish I knew that before I died. 